Hey church, welcome back to this week's devotions. Uh, my name is Rafar, for any of you guys who don't know me, and we're looking at Fiercely Determined as one of the culture points in our This Audacious Life series. And really, we've been looking at how Jesus lived the ultimate audacious life. And the key scripture that's helping us bind this week is Luke 51, where it talks about, sorry, Luke 5, 51, where it talks about how Jesus, knowing that he was about to be taken to heaven, resolutely set out for Jerusalem, knowing that on the other side of that was betrayal, on the other side of that was his death, but still he was determined to make it happen. Jesus was fiercely determined, and this is how we can be a little bit more like him in today's devotion. And I want to leave you with this, that being fiercely determined means not getting distracted. Being fiercely determined means not getting distracted. See, we're about to read a bit of scripture where the disciples having a conversation with Jesus are totally distracted. They missed the point of what Jesus was trying to tell them. So let's have a look at it. Luke 9, 47 to 50. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, took a little child he had had and stood by him and he said to them, Whoever welcomes this little child welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For it is the one who is the least among you who will be the greatest in the kingdom completely oblivious and actually distracted and actually interrupting Jesus, John says to him, we saw someone driving out demons in your name. We tried to stop him for he was not one of us. But Jesus, in, in his absolute kindness, responds to them, don't stop him for, for whoever is not against you is for you. See, initially when I read this, I was confused. I was like, what's, what's happening right now? Jesus is talking about this little child and being the greatest uh, for those who are the least and the disciples are talking about this other guy who was casting out demons in Jesus' name. See, they were completely distracted. They missed what Jesus was saying. They weren't even listening. And Jesus, in his kindness, rebukes them and says, because they were more concerned about something else, they nearly missed out on the lesson that Jesus had for them. See, being fiercely determined means that you can't get distracted. And I want to ask you today, have you gotten distracted? Have you been distracted by something that's happening across the fence, over the road, or in somebody else's lane? See, to be fiercely determined, you've got to live life in your lane, fixed and focused on what's happening on the Facebook timeline, for those of you who use Facebook. To be fiercely determined, you can't be distracted by fantasies and you can't be looking at what uh, was happening over there or being fixated on the challenges that present themselves. To be fiercely determined, you can't be distracted by what, whichever way the wind blows. You can't be tossed and turned that way. To be fiercely de determined, you've got to fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your eyes on the lane that you're in. On the lane that you're in, sorry. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by what's happening on the other side. See, on the other side of being determined, as we've already said, is victory, is breakthrough, is, is all the things that God has promised us on the other side of determination. So I want to challenge you. I want you to pray even when you don't feel like it. I want you to read your Bible even when you don't feel like it. I want you to, to surround yourself with good people even when you don't feel like it. See, it is, it is the people that are surround us with, the people that are determined with us that bring the dreams to life. Don't allow excuses to define you. Don't allow them to create borders or boundaries that you can't cross. Be fiercely determined. God bless you, church, and have a great day.